Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day. You already know what it is because it's what, 719? Well, I'm just going to get straight into it. Well, first of all, like I said, good morning to everybody that's all over this world. God bless you. God keep you. And so I have a dust at the Lord. And you already know when I'm intense, that means it was intense. So about, I think, 445 or 448. Don't remember to the minute. God woke me up this morning and um, it was very intense the conversation the conversation went like this well it wasn't a conversation I was just listening praise God praise God and, and that's for somebody out there when God speaks sometimes you know sometimes just listen well long story short God was saying, saying Deanna my people are dying out there my people are dying without me and then he said people are dying without him so number one he stated my people that means people of god are dying without me did y'all catch that he said my people are dying without me then he said the world is perishing because my church is not doing kingdom business okay let me let me clarify what he said he said it's supposed to be about souls he said but everybody's about building money fame look at me look at me i'm telling you and he was intense about it we're going to start seeing things happen on the level that we've never seen before. I don't know what, I, I've seen it my whole life. And what I'm saying by this is, people play with God. Yes, they do. They say they love God, but God said, where is your heart? That's, I'm telling you, that was the conversation this morning. He said, where is your heart? Because where your heart is, just like my scripture said, that's your treasure. Is your heart about feeding the homeless? Is your heart about saving people out there? Is your heart about ministering? What am I saying? People don't witness no more like we used to do. We don't go out to the highways and byways. We're so busy building up people, building up this, not building up people. That's what we need to be. Excuse me. Let me clarify that. We're not building up the people, God says. Because if they were getting built up, they wouldn't be out there killing each other to the magnitude. And I keep going back to the 12 apostles on purpose. They turned this world upside down. You want to know why? They were focused on their mission, their assignment. We're not focused on our mission and assignment. We're focused on everything else. Want to be this, want to be that, want this, want that. I'm telling you what God say. Thus said the Lord. He said, get back to my business. Be about your father's business. But you want to know what's really going on? People are not anointed. I said it. I said it. I said it. You are not anointed. Yes, I'm saying it. And listen to me. It's not being judgmental, not bashing anyone. You got to spend time with God. This is real. This is real. This is not a game. When you have a connection with God, when, when you have that kingdom connection, you getting up in the morning, you listening to God, you moving in the spirit by God. There it is. People have mastered how to move in the flesh. You know how to sing hallelujah. You know how to, to, to shout hallelujah. But you don't understand what hallelujah is truly about. Yeah, I say it how I say it. And I'm going to say this too. People are more afraid of them. They tried, to, they tried to, I don't know what happened just now, but the thing went off, but it came back on off whatever but anyway like i said what i see people are more afraid of them than him who are them you know who them is i'm i'm, I'm bold i'm bold i'm gonna say it the elite run this whole world what is the elite okay i'm gonna tell you how somebody told me yesterday there's the big g-o-d there's the little o-g no d-o-d okay so which one you repping because truth be told people as a matter of fact let me say something what they doing they're not really serving Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So they'll say, I love God. What's God? Is it the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Or is it that little God who you really serving? For money, honey, and funny. Stop playing, stop playing, stop playing, say God. People playing in this hour. I have seen, you know, and I got to be intense this morning because it was that intense. I've seen people die playing with God. I'm 54. I've seen so much... And that's why I'm so committed to God. I don't play with God. I don't, I'm going to say that again. I don't play with God for nobody. And we'll go and get you for God. Mother, father, sister, brother, daughter, whoever, for God. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Because you're not God. You see, I think we, for, we have forgotten one thing, who God truly is. You know, I'm reminded of Pharaoh because that's what system we live in, a Pharaoh system. Pharaoh really thought he had power. And he did. But I never forget at the end of that thing, God said, I made you Pharaoh and I made you to destroy you. 
they keep trying to turn me off. But let me tell you something. It's a spiritual hit this morning. Because guess what? Them people think, yeah, you're running the world now. But God, you couldn't do nothing unless God let you or allow you. You all better get, and yeah, I said it like I said, you all better recognize who God is. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Have you read your Bible? Do you understand what he's capable of? He could withdraw his breath from you and you would literally die. <laughs> People play too much. We better get back to business. Being about our father's business for real. See, fear, fear make you back up from God. Because you're looking at them and not him. But when you start looking at him, you're not afraid of anything or anybody. Bring it. You heard me. Because you won't do what you're going to do. But what you don't understand, my father is still in control. Who is my father? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The one and true living God. The God that said, I, I kill and I make alive. You didn't hear what I just said. He said, I kill and I make alive. You think it's a game? As I was stating, I'm 54. I've seen so much happen in my lifetime with men of God, women of God, people that play scared me <laughs> scared me it taught me something and I, I never forget my grandfather Alfred Brandon Sr. when I first got saved at 27 years old I was so excited I ran up to him I said grandma grandpa grandpa I, I, I'm saved and I never forget he shot me down he said baby don't ever play with God why am I saying that because we have a generation baby you're playing with God I'm on one Y'all playing with God. You better stop. I'm telling you. And the crazy part is just like Pharaoh. Pharaoh really thought he was doing something. Remember when he killed his firstborn? He still didn't understand who God was. God will allow so much to happen. I promise you, you're going to know who he is. It's not a threat. That's a promise. Read it. It is in his word. Forget just his word. It's in the air. He said, Ephesians 6. <laughs> he said, I am the great I am. People don't realize who God is until he bring down that hammer. You know, one of my keys, I made a hammer. Let me tell you how I did that. Because see when that hammer fall, that's a rap. You could say whatever. You can act all big and bad. and Like you got it going. You could say whatever, do whatever. When God let that hammer fall, that hammer fall. And people don't like when I give examples. But I just tell y'all what God tell me to say. There's some great men and women that have died playing with God. I ain't got to say no names this morning. Hurt me to my heart when I saw their demise. Is that not an example? And y'all sitting up there playing? We got to get back to God's business. That's all I'm saying. I'm talking about completely. Ministering out there, witnessing out there, people have forgotten about the souls. And then we want to put RIP and, and this and this and this. What about witnessing for real? And I, I'm going to say, and let me tell you something. Oh, I'm on one. I'm on one. That's why people don't like me. Because they like, she do too much. She say too much. Are you serious? I belong to God, not you. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can give me. There's nothing. Thing you can give me in this world that can replace who God is. There it is. There it is. I don't care about all that foolishness because all of it's going to burn. You heard me. All of it's going to burn. Thank God for my soul. God don't let me go to hell. God don't take your spirit from me. That's where I'm at. I don't know. Where are you? I bet yeah. Like they said, what's in your wallet? What's in your heart? You heard me own one what's in your heart this morning who are you for real who do you serve for real is it money is it honey is it funny or is it god mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah Woo! i'm about to get off of here because i'm gonna walk and exercise because i'm telling you there is about to be a shift God is about to expose every false leader. God is about to expose every false person. God is about to expose. But there's a, a double shift. That there's a transfer of wealth like I've never seen before. And you don't have to work for it because it's already yours. Because you are joint heirs with Christ. All you got to do is move in position. I see it. Move in position. And, and no opposition can stop you. Somebody right there. No opposition can stop you. They can try. They can try to hinder. They can try to. But God said, I'm God. Is there anything too hard for me? Who can stop God, 
And some of y'all be thinking people can stop you. They, they, they could somebody so something keeps trying to stop me. That's the fourth time. I hope this video goes smooth, but if it if it don't, I'm gonna do it. They can't stop it. And, and the crazy part is I can't even stop myself because